time for another edition of Writers Round Table coming to you from the Nation Newsroom. I'm Hayden Gill and I'm joined by my colleagues Mike King and Barry Annie. Gentlemen, the topic under the discussion today, the Curta Games Track and Field Championships. Robin is finishing with 16 medals and we want to discuss whether or not the overall medal tally was satisfactory or should we be concerned that over the years we've not been able to increase our medal count. Mike, you can, you can go first. Well, certainly we, we should be getting more than, than 16 medals at this time. Um, the game starts since 1972, started right here. 43 le years later, we are still getting under 20 medals. I I'm not pleased at all uh, uh, with that, um, especially in the field events. We won one single field event, thanks to Haley Matthews in, in, the, in the javelin. Not a single medal for say, how did the jumps? We didn't do well in the throwing event, so I am disappointed in terms of that. You know, the problem for us is that we've got quality athletes, but there's only one Mary version. There's only one Rivala Liga. We need to have more quality athletes, more depth, and it does an area of concern as well. Okay, Mark, you are here. I would say that the performance was satisfactory. It, it was good to see two young Barbadians in Mario Burke and Mary Fraser warm our hearts, but performing really well. But I think it's more important now to look at where do we go from here. If we do well at current, but reasonably well. But internationally, we find our juniors are not becoming very good, mature athletes and we are lacking medals internationally. We've had very good juniors over the years. Have they won internationally? No. Well, but Daddy Thompson won his Olympic bronze medal in 2000. Ryan Brathwaite won his World Championship gold in 2009. I mean, there are few and far between areas where we do well internationally and get big results. I wanted to disagree with you to some extent, Barry. You say the performance was satisfactory. I cannot agree with that. Mind you, we had one or two exceptional athletes, right? Fraser, that's what made it satisfactory. But at the end of the day, the performance as a team mm -hmm. collectively has to be disappointing. Right? I tend to side with Mike. Um, back in the 1997 Perfect Games, we got 33 medals. Huh? Two decades later, we cannot be getting half that number. Even as recent as um, four years ago at the 2011 Games in Jamaica, we got 28 medals. We should be able to build up on those successes and consistently improve, but we have, as far as I'm concerned, we have gone dramatically backwards and the authorities in progress are not part of the not. I don't, I don't think we need to be too harsh though because if you look at it from this perspective, from a team perspective, I understand your point, but the individuals that did perform well, performed exactly well and have world leading times. And you can simply say and be very accurate by saying Barbados now has two of the three best world juniors in the world. I agree, but let us not get carried away by the brilliance of two or three individuals. It has to be a broader picture. It has to be about, you know, everybody coming to the table and representing the island. What do you say, Mike, about us having the two fastest young men? You know what, I, I agree with him. It's a kind of 50-50 thing. In terms of quality, we've got exceptional quality in Mary Fraser. Uh, Mario Burke, Ravala Liga, uh, even the less extent Haley Matthews. But in terms of depth, the same problem is that there's only one Haley Matthews. There's only one Mario Burke. We don't have the depth. There were some events at the Grifty Games we did not even have a person in the final. Um, we, we don't have a quality form to be yes, around. But, but, sometimes, I mean, but sometimes we can't be too hard on ourselves. The population of Barbados is 200 and odd thousand. And we have the world's fastest junior on the planet, mm -hmm. not in the Caribbean. <laughs> Yeah, but the question that has been asked though is that should we be getting more medals? And I've got to go ahead, 16 medals at this stage. I mean, when they covered the Grifty Games 30 years ago, but we see, were getting 16 but, medals. But, but we so I, I can't be satisfied with 30 medals. I think we overcompensate medals. sometimes by just looking at medals. I would prefer to get 10 Grifty medals and to have 3 or 4 Olympic medals in there. That is how we measure that that you know, by medals. <laughs> But I want us to not measure it by only medals. I want us to measure it by how our athletes mature into world-class performers to become professional athletes. Then you can look at your entire track and field program and judge it. Not by, you can't judge it by only career for medals. But I think he's looking at it. There's two things. He's looking at depth. In terms of depth, he's right. In terms of actual having individual quality, you have a point. Okay, but wouldn't you prefer to have a deep career if the team and get 35 medals? And only produce one or two world class Olympians, or which prefer to have 16 or 17 I, I medals mind, and produce I, three or four no, Olympians with I, medals. I will look at, at the end of the day, it's really not like a one man or two man show, you know, it's about producing quality athletes, you know, across the board. And if it has to start at Kofta and then, you know, so be it. But 
I don't think that the emphasis should be aimed at just producing one or two world class athletes. Well, I think there's a situation. I think that you might both may both be right, but in terms of answering this question, I think we should be actually getting more that. But, but let me ask you a question here. Then how do we produce a deeper career squad? Do, well, we, I mean, do we do go along the line of, of coach of him having sending a bigger team just for the sake of so it, more it, start, it starts before Carifto, but I mean we have to face reality. We lack resources, both you know, human resources, financial resources, infrastructural resources. But we have essentially what we have to do is put systems in place, you know, start at the grassroots level and build and build. Every year we do a song and dance at PSA. Other people, you know, doing certain schools doing well, but we have to look at, you know, the quality of performances, you know, what these athletes are doing. I'll tell, you what, I'll tell you what, what I think we need. I think we need to look at reforming our elite program, our elite athletes program. Because we continue to see some very nice juniors coming through and then not enough athletes go to the next level. I agree with that. Yeah, yeah, so it seems to happen after the past. After seven. juniors and you do yeah. well. Interesting you do well discussion. We are out of time. We don't want the discussion to end here. We want you, our viewers, to join the discussion on our Facebook page. Um, you can also follow the printed version of the Writers' Room Table in the Sunday Sun. Pick up your copy from our vendors, or you can subscribe to our e-paper at nationnews.com. That's it from the Writers' Room Table. Join us again next time.